Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome back to another video. So this tutorial has been very, very highly requested. So I'm very glad to deliver it to you guys. Finally, <laughs> sorry for the long wait. So first things first, we're going to start with the eyes. I'm going to prime my eyelids using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot on an Eeg Show crease brush. I just basically whack this bad boy all over my lids, making sure everything's covered, that my lids are nice and neutralized, and it's just all one even tone so the eyeshadows sit evenly and show up as pigmented as possible. <laughs> Once my lids are all covered, I'm going to go in with the first shadow of the day, taking my Chi Chi Pride palette and on a fluffy crease brush, I'm going in with this kind of light yellowy orange tone and just whacking that through the crease very lightly as our transition shade for today. Making sure to drag it out on the outer corner of my eye because we are creating a sort of cat eye look. So I do want the outer corner to be extended. Next, I'm taking this light orange shade and taking that again through the crease but with a more definer crease brush and slightly below the previous shadow because we're creating a little gradient here. I want to place each shadow just below and then blend the two together so they're nice and seamless and there's no harsh lines. For the next shadow, I'm taking Flame Point from Sugar Pill on a, another more defined crease brush. I'm taking that through the outer corner and bringing it all the way towards the inner corner. I'm not extending the shadow out as far as I did with the previous two. We are getting closer to the eye socket so I don't want it to be as dragged out and as smoky. I want it to be a bit more defined in the crease. So I am taking my time with this step slowly building up the colour because as we go darker with the shadows you want to be a little bit lighter handed. And just build up slowly so you don't end up with a whole you know hot mess going on there with too much color and not enough room to blend it out i do go back and forth between the previous uh, two lighter shadows um, to softly blend out the edges of that deeper orange again so it's all seamless and smoky like so <laughs> okie dokie next i'm going to take this light goldy like what do you call it? like a greeny gold kind of shadow uh maybe more of a yellow gold actually i'm taking that on the inner corner of my eye very very inner point i am kind of creating a soft cut crease here so i'm not defining the crease in any way with like concealer i'm just kind of using the shadows to do that so i'm going slightly darker as we go along so i start off with that light gold shade then i take the next kind of gold along which is a little bit darker and a little bit more of like yeah golden golden shade rather than like a yellow gold then we're going to move on into the oranges so i'm taking this shimmery orange shade from the pride palette and i'm taking that next to that gold and just buffing those two together so they melt seamlessly together and then i'm going in with a deeper orange shade and placing that next to the shimmer orange and for the darker shade, I'm actually using the one from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. It's called Firework, and I'm just placing that next to the shimmery orange shadow that we used before the lighter orange tone. And I am taking my time with this step. I go along back and forth using all those different shades so that they all melt together seamlessly. I don't want there to be any harsh lines or any defining point where the shadows start. I want them all to melt together. Next, I'm taking Crayon Apple from the Jaclyn Hill palette and placing that next to Firework. I'm not bringing Crayon Apple to the most outer point of the eye. I'm bringing it about, oh, but almost two thirds away across, like almost to the outer corner. But we are going to take Royalty from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and use that to complete the eyelid and place that on the very outer point of the eye. So the purple and the red are the harder to, to blend together. The others are a more similar kind of color group, whereas the purple is very stark and obvious. So it did take a bit of time to blend the purple into the red. So like I said, just take your time, you will get there. Just keep plotting away, blending the two together, adding a bit of crayon apple, adding a bit of royalty, and just getting that blend perfectly seamless. Once you have your desired blend, we're going to deepen up the outer corner a little bit. So I'm taking these two brown shades, I believe they're Chip and Central Park from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm placing them on with a pencil brush on the very outermost point of our eye. So right after Royalty, I don't want to cover up any of Royalty, I want the purple to still stand out. I'm just deepening up the outer corner a little bit with a bit, you know, a bit more deeper tones there. 
then I'm taking flame point from sugar pill on this like this is literally the best blending brush of my life it's the Eeg show blending brush and oh my god it just it's everything you, you must get it in your collection it is literally everything I'm blending it out those browns with some of the orange um, just so that you know we're bringing that orange back a little bit more deepening up the socket making it nice and vibrant and getting that outer corner smoky look that cat eye mm, that is everything for my inner corner and brow bone highlight I'm actually taking two shadows I'm taking the superstar highlight of quad from Focalore and mixing that in with some of that light gold shade that we used on our inner most point of our eyelid um, for a bit of a golden tone to it and I'm placing those two on the highest point of my brow and the innermost point of my eye just for a bit of a pop bit of something something alrighty once we've done that we're going to move on to winged eyeliner so I'm taking my Maybelline Hyper Sharp liquid liner and I'm doing your typical wing that you'd usually do but I'm not just stopping there I'm going to extend it on the inner corner of my eye as well I am creating like a semi dramatic wing like it's not something small or subtle at all by any means but it's not something like crazy dramatic where you cover up most of your eyeshadow like that's not what we want here we've done all that work with the eyeshadow we want it to still be popping um, but it also needs to be dramatic because we are using like blue gel liner to accompany this black liner but yeah like I said I am extending it on the inner corner of my eyes to really get that feline look and just you know dramatize the look up a little bit more so we're going back to the eyeshadows and I'm finishing off my lower lash line I'm taking crayon apple on a precise shader brush and wiggling that on the outer third of my eye we're going to create a similar gradient to the lid so I'm taking firework from the Jaclyn Hill palette on the same brush I'm wiggling that next to crayon apple and then I'm taking flame point from sugar pill and wiggling that next to firework and then I'm going to take these lighter orange shades that we used in the crease and place that on the inner point of the bottom lash line meeting up with the inner corner highlight and to blend all those colors out I'm taking this deeper orange shadow from the Chi Chi Pride palette so that each shadow is nice and smoky and there's no harsh defining lines it all just blends seamlessly together voila <laughs> I actually really am happy with this blend it turned out so well so for that blue gel liner I'm taking blue moon from Tarte and I'm placing that in my waterline for a pop of blue I just love the contrast with the light blue um, contrasting with those warm tones on our lids and on our bottom lash line it just looks so good and I'm also doing a bit of graphic kind of liner feels to this look so I'm going to um, kind of define the crease or just above the crease with that blue gel liner i'm using it on an eag show eyeliner brush too by the way i didn't mention that and i'm basically trying to keep the both uh kind of cut crease looks as even as possible take your time with this i literally did tiny strokes at a time to get the perfect you know semi-circle cut crease a feel to the look and then to finish off the blue liner i'm also going to define that outer edge of our wing liner with a bit of that blue just the outer edge there and it just kind of extends the eye a little bit more from the blue liner in our waterline extending out to the wing liner actually looks so cool like it just and then having it in the crease it just completes the look so much I love this effect to finish off the eyes I'm adding on some mascara this is the raw volumizing mascara and for lashes today I went in with my Icona lashes in the style make him miss me and honey they just complement this look so well they're so full they're so voluptuous they have that cat eye effect because they're shorter on the inner corner longer on the outer corner but yeah this is the completed look i hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial this was a very fun colorful makeup look let me know what you think do you want to see more looks like this please let your girl know i love you all so much thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye guys